Well, it's time to dust off your harmonica. The 11th annual Heart Fest is coming up this weekend. Love that sound. We've got a preview for you next. It's portable. It's traditional. Better known as the... Harmonica Harp Fest is this weekend in La Mesa on Saturday. So we got a couple of guys, a couple of kids talking to us about that. So first, let's introduce you with, uh, we got two Johns here, but first, John Whitman. 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 Hi, mm -hmm. John. Hello, Chrissy. Okay, so you're going to be at the festival at Harp Fest this weekend yes. on Saturday. First of all, the mm -hmm. obvious question for me is, if it's a harmonica festival, why is it called Harp Fest? Are there going to be harps there? No, harps is, is another word for a harmonica. It's a shorter word and easier to say when you're saying it a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's slang for harmonica. Yes, okay, so before we talk more about the festival, let's talk about harmonicas and the history. Where did they come from? They, how long have they been around? They've been around since uh, around 1820, 1821, and they were uh, first invented in, in Germany. A uh, fellow named uh, Christian Bushman, he took a, a, uh, a, a, a pitch pipe like this, which is for t uh, tuning a uh, string instrument. And uh, when you play it, it, the notes are not in order. Okay. You see, and he rearranged them, and then uh, he got them in in a in a musical order, and uh, that's how the harmonica started. So and this is the first one that was made in the U.S. Oh wow! In about 1830. Well, you can see this looks like a bunch of pitch pipes right here. Oh, cool! So, well, what is a harmonica? Pitch pipes. No, a harmonica is a reed instrument. It, it has reeds in it just like a reed organ or, really? a, or an accordion. Mm -hmm. okay. A little piece of brass that vibrates when you blow on it. All right. And then you have your own collection. Yes. So show me your favorite one. My favorite? Oh, I've got too many favorites. Oh, that's <laughs> But the, these right here are the Art Deco, like uh, the colors. And, and look at the, the airfoil uh, side of this. Oh, cool. And How are they different, though? Do they play differently? Because this one, does this one have more notes on it than the one that you you let me use? It um, Yes, it has a few more. OK, so there's a discernment between the harmonicas. Yes, but for the most part, a lot of them are, are identical, and they're just made different so they could sell more harmonicas okay. back in those days. <laughs> or they could people's um, um, personalities. That's right. You, you wouldn't, uh, but sometimes it's the boxes that are, are more interesting, more collectible. Um, they'll make the same harmonica for a hundred years and what other item do they do that for? Like, like, like these right wow. here? And then every 10 or 15 years they'll change uh, the girls, the ladies that are on there <laughs> and have different styles. Now, so how old are those boxes? Well, this one uh, goes back to reunification with Reagan and Gorbachev, wow. but, but this one goes back to about 1920. Whoa! Yes. Okay, come on, show me your favorite one, John. My favorite one. Come on, just pick well, one. Well, this is the my favorite. Cool. Uh, but the, this is one of the mo most recent one I got, and it okay. uh, was made in 1912, and it has one of the first airplanes. Oh, cool. Here's one with a Zeppelin on it. Okay, well, John Whiteman, you're going to be at the fest, Harp Fest this Saturday. So, yes, I am. And you can go see him, and you can see his harmonicas this Saturday from 12 to 6. It's free at um, Harry Griffin Park. So thank you, John. So we're going to go over and talk with John Frazier. Yes. Hi, kids. Who do you have with you? John? Well, these are some um, of my sister's um, friends that she brought down uh, to be able to. Uh, you guys tell, tell out your names, so okay, real quick, if you want. You, well, uh, yeah, kids, real quick, your names, real quick. Just Daniel. Kayla. And your name? Did you get your name? Angelina. Angelina. Oh, wow. okay. okay, so John, you're a professional player. You're a professional musician, right? In, 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 a, in a way, if I had, if I got won a million dollars um, playing the, uh, the lottery, I would be able to um, keep playing until the money ran out. Now, can you play a little something for us? Let's get a little demonstration. <laughs> no, that's not what we'll teach wow. you how to play like right away. That just takes me back. Why do I want to feel like I'm back in the South? Like it's hot. Oh, you, know, like... oh, you want to be in the South. <laughs> You wow. can play all different kinds of well, music with the harmonica. I, I, tell us about Harp Fest, though. Why, why is it that you're having it, and what's the story behind it? Harp Fest, uh, my dad um, always, you know, he saw me play the harmonica, and he said, well, you know, why don't you put on a festival, you know? And, and so some friends of mine got together, and we said, okay. And one friend said, I know a place. Oh. 
So, cool. so we've been in La Mesa at Harry Griffith Park now. This is our 11th year. Cool. And um, how many people usually show up? The six, over the course of the day, we get maybe six or seven hundred people. Um, if we if wow. we get if we get five thousand, then we'll have to move it someplace. And out. you're you're playing the harmonica. You're giving lessons because you teach kids, right? Uh, well, I teach kids with, through the Blues in the Schools program. There's other harmonica players also that do the same thing. And blues in the Schools. Blues program? in the Schools is a thing put on by the Blues Foundation. The local organization that sponsors that is called Blues Lovers United of San Diego. Oh wow! And they're one of our sponsors to, to help us put this on. All right, um, John. Let's so, um. Uh, we, we've got the information on uh, fox5sandiego.com. We're going to send it back into the studio by, can you give me a quick lesson? How do I play a note? Okay, if you put the numbers on the top. I got them. Okay. Oh, on the put top. the numbers on the top. <laughs> then the low notes will be on the left-hand side. All right. So we'll and um, the easiest way to, to be able to get quick success is to play what's called second position, which is we're going to play the C harmonica in the key of G. So what you're going to do is like the the, the two and three. <laughs> I got to just blow in this thing. You're gonna, you're <laughs> I got to sit you're, back. You're going to breathe in okay. and breathe out. Move down a little bit more this way. Okay, go this way. Yeah, yeah. Now we're going to go in out. Let's go in. Wouldn't out. that be cool if I tossed you guys like that every time? Yeah. You're going to be repetitive. Be now listen, we're going to go I gotta in. I got to send it back. Out, the, in, out. I got it. Back to you guys now in the studio. Do it harder. Go. Yes. That's not bad. That was really good. She's a natural. How come we don't have harmonicas? <laughs>